Balloon angioplasty is a procedure which opens arteries that have become narrowed or clogged from plaque buildup. This procedure can be done before, during, or after a heart attack to help minimize the damage to heart muscle. During this procedure, a small cut is made in the upper thigh, or possibly the arm, then a guide wire is inserted into the artery and threaded to the site of the blockage. A catheter, or small flexible tube, with a deflated balloon is moved along the guide wire to the blockage. When the balloon is inflated, it presses the plaque against the artery wall and enlarges the opening of the artery. This lets blood move normally through the artery. Often during balloon angioplasty, a stent is inserted at the site of the blockage to help the artery from reclosing. A stent is a wire mesh tube placed around the deflated balloon catheter. When the balloon is inflated at the site of the blockage, the stent expands and adheres to the artery wall. The balloon, catheter, and guide wire are then removed and the stent remains in place. Due to angioplasty and other improvements in cardiac care, many people survive heart attacks. However, survivors are more at risk for having another heart attack or developing other serious heart complications, especially if there is a significant amount of heart tissue that has been injured from the heart attack. A lot of heart damage can result in an enlarged heart that does not function well because it has a lower ejection fraction and or heart failure. A lowered ejection fraction means the heart is not able to pump as well as it needs to. As the ejection fraction gets lower, the heart has a harder and harder time pumping the blood out of the rest of the body. Heart failure occurs when the heart can no longer pump enough blood to meet the body's needs. Scientists have been asked by the National Institutes of Health to create a network of research centers to study cell therapy for treating heart diseases. The Cardiovascular Cell Therapy Research Network, or CCTRN, is a collection of research centers that are carrying out several clinical trial studies on how the use of special stem cells may help improve how patients recover following a heart attack and reduce or prevent heart failure. 